the Glorious did so well in, in the UK, uh, I mean, that was for me amazing when it all happened. Or when, when it happened, you were so involved with everything because it just kind of blew up everywhere. And now getting kind of everything into more perspective, yeah, it was a huge thing and it had a great effect on, 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 the, on the Swedish market as well. I remember when I wrote, actually when I finished off the song, it was actually at the Grand Hotel uh, in Stockholm during the MTV Awards last year. And I had played around with an idea for quite some time and, uh, and suddenly I remembered something that Peter had played for me, Peter, my produ Peter Quint, my producer and guitar player. And I kind of mixed up, uh, got the ideas together. And so uh, and later on that evening, I, I said to Peter, get, 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 and listen to this, and I sang a bit of, of the song for him. And, oh yeah, I think we got something there. This is the second location of the day, and we've been working since Two o'clock. Now it's uh, after midnight, and we're going to do the first night of subway scenes. Clear eyes. Don't care, Alte. Now it's going to be the first single out of the album, and I, I think it's kind of a great one to start with. Well, I, I think that the, the whole album is very much kind of captures the thing of being on the tour for a couple of years and, and that we and all all the songs or near, nearly all the songs are written, written on tour and I think the thing that I wanted to capture was the energy with me and my band and that I think that that was what we took with us into the studio and maybe this one leans a bit more forward than the, the previous one and um, so it's very it was a smooth ride because we, it was a good energy and we had uh, lots of fun. I think it kind of started when we, when we were on tour in the UK and we had a couple of days off and uh, I felt that I, I needed to record a couple of songs and I took the band into the studio for a couple of days in May 1st studios in London. And th that's where we kind of got the, the whole master plan of the album and we, or at least I knew what kind of direction I wanted to take it in. I think you kind of got a lot of things in the back of your mind, kind of a, from early or previous experiences and of course things happen while you're on tour and uh, this is not about being on tour, it's, I mean, it's about relations and um, and you I mean it's about you you got to write about things that you know and and stuff that you can relate to and things happen around you and you end up in strange relationships and so I, I don't know but then it's up, very much up to people to judge for themselves and maybe get their own ideas of each in individual song. Oh, yeah. very much Andreas Johnson, uh, definitely, and uh, that's the only way I can do music. Um, and um, I just have to 
go with that feeling and just try to do something that makes me happy and hopefully other people can relate to it. But it's very much just keep it down to, to me. And maybe there is a melancholy in the music that, that is Scandinavian or, or, or is me. Yes, me. I think it's one of those the few few moments in life when you can really get be deadly happy. That's that's for me being on the stage when yeah you just reach that moment when everything just makes perfect sense and you get the feeling wow at this very moment I could die I, I now I can die now I'm so happy I can. Die.